Well, hi guys, I forgot to uh, do an introduction to uh, this video. So this is a quick little mashup. Um, yeah, today we're gonna apply the transfers to the wagon doors and then we'll do uh, the first stage of weathering, which is a bit of a wash on the wagon. So that's what we're gonna do on the workbench in a second. But what has just arrived? New toy. So we may get a different views from here on in after this video, once I've worked out how it works. So enjoy the video and I'll see you with another one, probably tomorrow, maybe with this. Well, I've got to try it out, haven't I? So see ya. Right, correcting the error printed by Dapol on their doors now. The minimum radius of three meters was obviously incorrect. It's 31 meters. But what I didn't realize was how small the actual transfer in print and text is. But anyway, I've removed it as you saw in the earlier video. And these transfers are printed by Steve Bell of Railtech. He's got them on his website. So if you're a bit OCD like me in some respects, then uh, you can correct it, even though it's really small. I knew it was there, so we're going to correct it. So it's quite simple. I have put a small piece of uh, gloss varnish on there a couple of days back, which is now dried off. This is so you get less silvering from underneath the transfer. So let's just cut around the transfer with a nice sharp knife. I do need to replace this blade at some stage. Oh. Yep, definitely need a new blade. And we'll just lay that in there. In just plain water. We'll just leave that there for a couple of minutes and by magic we'll uh, speed the clock up. And basically while that's soaking all I'm going to use is a slightly blunted cocktail stick and a cotton bud and a bit of tissue to uh, dab off afterwards. This has been in here a little while it might be ready to go. Just try and agitate it with the Not quite yet, so we'll just lay that back in the water. It's actually clearer to read it now that it's uh, wet. That's it, and the transfer is now loose on the backing sheet. So I'm literally just going to flick that off of there. onto the card and use it. Come on. Fidget, fidget, fidget. There we go. Let's line it up somewhere in the middle. And I'm just going to roll over it from the middle out with the cotton bud and just gently press it down stroking the middle outwards job done so now you can read hopefully what that says subject to focus of course so that is one and I'm going to do these other three easy as water slide transfers by Steve Bell and uh, they'll cover them up and correct the writing. I press this one on there and it's not quite straight and you go oh dear how am I going to move it it's quite simple water slide just get a paintbrush brush with some water 
and just re-agitate it until it loosens up. The water will work, there we go, the water will work its way under the edge and it will loosen up and then you can move it again reposition it so it's straight to where you're happy with it well that's definitely straighter and then re-roll out the water from underneath Simple as that. So we now have all four doors all transferred up, reading 31 meters, not three. Um, what we're going to do now is do a bit of a, a dark wash um, to pick out the details on the doors and the edges of the floorboards. So all I'm going to use is some black acrylic maybe a little bit of, actually I might go for this dark brown 160 Humbro acrylic it's a really dark brown so that colour might work and we're just going to run it around the floor. Slight change, I've got a bottle of methylated spirits so I'm going to try use a bit of meth to see how that comes out I'm willing to try new things so we're going to pour a little bit of the brown in there Mix it up now. We're after a really thin, watery consistency with this. But it comes out very light. It's too light for what I want, so I've got some black acrylic. And we're going to tone that down a bit. Just a little splodge of black in there. mix that in see how that goes okay so we've now got a really runny dark brown color it's actually come out quite nicely so uh, just drips off the cotton bud and I'm going to see how this goes we're going to experiment on one of these doors here I'm going to find a smallish brush and we'll see if it runs around or not doesn't really flow. I think we're going to go back to the glass cleaner. I reckon that's better. But we're not going to worry about this because we're going to clean off afterwards. No, we'll, give, we'll give it a go. We'll just run some of that up in the corners. side here. And then we'll get a fresh cotton bud. Methylated spirits. If I can open it again, childproof locks. Just clean downwards. Rubs into the corners and draw it out. Actually, yep. There's a first layer of dirt. That will work. And just clean away. I'm going to do that. The other doors, and as you can see, 
that picks out the details quite nicely on the doors and let's where did I put the brush I've lost the brush now I have a paintbrush here I mean, there you go oh, how will it flow yeah it's not really it's not really flowing on the boards we'll do the boards differently but for this once I find my paintbrush here it is just run it in places on the doors I'll show you after because you don't need to watch all 12 doors being done I don't think okay here we have a slight deviation from the, the method we're going to run the paint in with this brush it just gives a slightly different finish around all the detail there along the bottom of the doors And then instead of using the cotton bud, this time we're going to get a not, that nice big flat brush that we had, dip it in the methylated spirits, dab it off so it's not too, too wet, and streak it out. Clean the brush and we can just... Just gives a slightly different finish to the first ones we did where we wiped it out with the cotton bud. So we can just very subtle variations. So we're getting like one wagon is slightly dirtier than the other. So I'm going to finish this wagon off using the brushes. So, you can now see the difference between the two methods. The brushed one, which is at the bottom, is just slightly a bit more streaky, where the cotton bud is just a little bit more even, and it just leaves the dirt in the nooks and crannies of each set of doors. Um, we should now do the same on the wagon ends. I'm going to use the brush for this because it's easier. And I'm going to do the same on both wagons. I'm just going to liberally put that around in the corners, on the ends, just liberally. 
that and the guards here. And that is it. No, it's not rocket science. I'm going to get the brush, dip it in the meths, and just scrub it in a bit. And I'm going to leave it like that, just a general wash over. Let's clean down the ends a bit. This will all be blended later with the airbrush and some rail dirt and frame dirt and stuff. But as we are at the minute, just a subtle need more light here really. Does that help? So it's just a subtle wash of dirt into the corners off the ends of the stanchions a bit. And it just hangs just starts to get too many little brush strokes in, just get a bit more meths so it flows again. And that's it. I'll do the other end. Hard and fast roll, splash it on, wipe it around. Weathering doesn't have to be difficult, it depends on obviously you can spend more time and make it more accurate, but this is, as with all the other bits, just the first subtle bit of dirt we can just. Brush in the brown a bit, want a bit more paint. And just run it in. And we'll leave it as that. Got these. And there we go. Again, what we can do with the brush, we can do with the cotton bud. So that makes the end of the wagon. Shade it.
Okay, and we shall leave that for um, today. Let everything all harden and dry. Okay, so we have two slightly different finishes on each wagon. Uh, one is slightly, ever so slightly cleaner than the other one, and the cleaner one being the one we've done with the cotton bud. So, as you can see, there's no technically different, difficult methods used at the minute. Um, it's just in, um, acrylic paint mixed with a bit of methylated spirits in there to a tone that I like. A bit of methylated spirits in the cap for cleaning off. Literally brush it on, wipe it off and uh, we'll leave that to all harden off overnight before we do the next bit. I'll get a couple of photographs, I'll stick them on the, the layout and uh, you can see what it looks like so far. Um, I'll catch you tomorrow when we'll do probably an enamel pin wash on the boards here to try and pick out those. Then we'll head on to some slightly bolder rusting spots with a bit of stippling with a sponge ready for airbrushing, some powders and then final varnish and that'll be done. Next couple of days we should be good. So I'll head this over onto the layout and we can have a look again. So enjoy modelling, any questions ask away, I'll answer them if I can and uh, I'll see you hopefully tomorrow. Bye.